Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to one of the Unity tutorials um, in this series. I will be going over how to create terrains, trees, um, and how to use post-processing effects and create a light dust storm or particle systems and um, yeah. Uh, so this is something that I created to show as a demo as to what we can expect the end result to be like or something close to it. Um, so let's begin. Um, I'm going to start by creating a new scene and I'm going to call this the desert demo. Here, sure, let's say that this is what our default scene is, and the first thing we want is to start creating our terrain. So, to do that, we're gonna go to game object create 3D and a terrain, or we could simply go here and create a uh, terrain from here as well. Um, so, this is what our default terrain is gonna look like. It has a checker texture on it um, and which is basically a representation of no material on it and then it's just like a flat plane we can create our heights se in several ways we can either paint our heights if we want oops that's too large let's just do that yeah so we can either do that or we can import a raw map. Um, you can also use Gaia to create really interesting maps or terrains, but in this specific demo we're just going to use a height map and the format that you need the height map in is um, a raw file. So going back to our terrain here, um, these are our different options. The first thing in order to get our heights or a height map imported is we go to our terrain settings scroll down or find the tab that says texture resolutions so it's a texture that we're importing and it's in the form of a raw file and i'm actually going to go and import our raw file oh hold up Make, oops cancel cancel it yet so if I go here somewhere mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm actually gonna use this one so going to our terrains here I'm not gonna use that one because that one has some problems going on with it so um, I will cover how to create, I have covered how to create raw files in Photoshop um, and you can watch that demo. Um, I will share a link with you guys or give you guys the file directly in class. So um, yeah, so anyway this is a file that we created in um, Photoshop converted it to a raw format in Photoshop. You got the height map from the interwebs. So with those settings, I'm going to go, and this basically depends on the resolution of your um, uh, file here. So um, I'm going to go click on import assets here. This is in our terrains. Go to desert, and I'm going to use this one. Again, this one has some issues going on, so I'm going to fix that for another um, demo. But for now, this is good. We click open. Make sure that matches the profile. And I'm going to change the height to 120. And I'm going to click on import. And you're going to see something like this in your game view. Don't be freaked out. It's because our camera is on the outside of our terrain. But this is what our terrain looks like. Um, this is based on a real world map. Um, and you can get those. Um, also, there's a website for it. Um, 
I've forgotten what it was called. I'll share with that with you guys um, um, in class. Anyway, so this is what your terrain looks like. Not terrible. If you want to tweak or adjust the height, you can always go to your terrain. If you don't like that height, you can increase it. Let's just like say maybe 200. 200, so that's gonna up the height here. But that's a little much, in my opinion. You can do whatever you want with it. You can lower it to 100 or maybe even it's up to you. I think 120 is a good height for this one. Um, all right, so now that we have our heights imported, the next thing we want to do is apply our base material to it. So in Unity, to create materials for your um, terrain, you actually create layers for it. Um, if you go here, it's going to ask you, okay, we can shift from, we can either paint our heights and stuff here once we've imported this as well, if we want to make any adjustments. Um, you can paint holes, and that's if you want to create a cave system. We will cover that maybe in future. Um, and then we can paint our textures. So let's go to paint textures and right now you're going to see that there are no layers. So um, in order to do that, we are going to create our base layer. Once you have created a layer, by the way, you can always um, use that layer. So see, I can just like always use that layer, but I'm going to show you guys how to create those layers. So going back to our textures. I'm actually going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call this like demo textures. And we're not going to create a material, we're going to create a terrain layer. And we can call this our sand layer demo. You will notice here it has a diffuse map that you can import and a normal map and a map. Map. I have never used a mask map before. I can look into it, but these two are the ones that we are going to be using basically. So, going back here, we have sand. So, these are our images. This is our layer. These are our images. This is our normal map. Right now it's set to normal uh, default, but you actually want this to be a normal map whenever you uh, download or create your um, normal maps. You can do that in Photoshop or you can download them from the interwebs again. Um, anyway, so you want to make sure that this is set to normal map and you hit apply. This is a default texture, which is fine. Um, if I go back to my demo here, select that and go to, hold up, this is right here. All I'm going to do is drag and drop this into diffuse and drag and drop the normal map into the normal map. Going back to our terrain now that we have our layer ready. All we have to do is click on Edit Terrain Layers. We can create a layer from here as well, or we can just add a layer. So this is the layer that we created, and if I do that, it already imported the sand layer here. So not terrible, but there's a problem here. The resolution is too small. So you can fix that by going to your layer and let's see what happens if we up this. So that's a little better. Maybe it's a little too much. We can fix that too. So again, it's up to you. This doesn't look bad. Maybe a little smaller or maybe super large. Let's see. Uh, no, 
So, I mean, you can tweak around these values if you want. I'm thinking this is good. Yeah, this is good. So, this looks fine, very deserty. Now, um, your first layer is automatically going to apply all over your terrain. You're not going to have to, you don't have to paint it. So if I zoom out here, the whole terrain has it assigned already. But if we want to start painting some different materials, we can do that by creating another layer. I'm going to create another layer here again. So, and I'm going to call this Red Desert Rock. Um, and I have those materials in here too. So, um, This is the layer, this is the material. So go here. Um, the normal map is probably not. Oh, it's already set. Cool. Um, going back here. I'm just going to drag and drop that here too. And so we go back here. You would probably have to adjust the. Um, the scale on that too. So if I were to go ahead and add a layer here, and which is the red ro desert rock. So I'm just going to add that. So now if I select this here and I start painting, you can see that that started painting it. But that looks really bad because we haven't adjusted our size here. Let's see. That looks better. Okay. If you want to remove paint, you go to your terrain, you select this, it gives you a brush, you can change the brush size by scrolling down. Oh, you can adjust the tiling here too. Um, you can adjust the brush size to a smaller brush if you want, over here, like that. If you want, maybe let's see, what happens if we change this to this? Oopsie, not. Um, sorry, there you go. That looks good. Anyway, so you can brush this. I mean, paint on this. <laughs> paint textures. Uh, and if you want to remove paint in a certain area that you don't like, you can hold a shift key and remove it. Shift key. Oops. Too small. I don't know why that's not working. Command. There is one key that you can use. I don't know. Maybe they changed something here. I guess we can just like paint our texture on top of that again. Okay, for now we can do that. Okay, so that's something. Sometimes you don't want to have the entire area painted so dark to sort of create a blend between the uh, different materials that you have here. You want to have a slow transition. So you can do that by adjusting the opacity. So that allows us to sort of create a blend between the rocky area and the sand area. So this way, like you can start blending different materials. So which doesn't look bad. So for now, I'm just going to keep it to the sand layer. And the opacity on that is 100%, so we can easily paint that off. It's up to you what you want to do with that. Um, lower the 
save this a little and add a little bit of sand here and there. Maybe change the size of the brush. Add some sand here. And going back to this layer of the opacity. Maybe paint these areas right here like this. Anyway, you guys get the idea right. So So that's that. So you can paint your materials like this. Different types of materials. So if you don't have normal maps, you won't get that sort of like um, a bump that you have going on. Um, so you have to have your normal maps set right. Um, anyway, once that's done, what you can do is the next step would be to um, I'm actually gonna paint this area too, just because I can't see much, but I think it would be a nice area to have our camera at. So our game view looks pretty terrible right now. We can actually move our camera to the spot if we want that to be our starting point, like move our character, player character, or whatever. Here, raise it up a little. And hit F for focus. And we can start painting here again. Um, going back to our terrain. Uh, here. Okay, cool. So that's the first step. You guys want to go ahead and finish painting out whatever. Uh, materials that you want um, generally like any area that you're gonna have grass should have like a little bit of should have a color that's like similar to it so that um, it doesn't look weird from afar um, but again those are a few tips and stuff that you guys can discuss with me in class or you can just go ahead and paint and do what you think looks the best um, alrighty so, I'm going to end this video here, and in the next video we are going to cover how to add, um, how to create trees and such to add to our environment. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.